Well, Showbiz Tonight did contact Sandra Bullock's representatives for comment on the Radar Online divorce story, but as of showtime, they have not responded. So is this really the beginning of the end for Sandra Bullock? Will she walk out on her marriage to Jesse James? Joining me tonight from Hollywood, it's Leslie Marshall, who's the host of The Leslie Marshall Show. Also today in Hollywood is Jim Murray, who's the chief correspondent for Inside Edition and the author of an excellent book, Check Out The Last Day of My Life. All right. When you consider all we now know, and that the mistress game was still very much in heavy play today, I can't at all blame Sandra if she has indeed decided to file for divorce. Jim Murray, off to you first. Are you buying the brand new report today that Sandra's done and the divorce is on? Yeah, I think it would make sense. I mean, how much can somebody take? You know, this is a, a horrible nightmare for her, and it's playing out in the public, and I, I really feel badly for her. Uh, you, you asked, is she walking out of the marriage? I don't think that she's walking out. I think he walked out, and I think she may very well be saying, this is it, this is it. I can't take any more of this public humiliation, and, and the nightmare has to end somewhere. Yeah, I actually agree. That might be a way to mischaracterize it, saying she walked out, because certainly this is all on him. Now, so far, there have been four alleged mistresses that have come forward in Sandra's husband's cheating scandal. Late today, we heard of this possible fifth mistress coming forward, but we also learned today that alleged mistress number two, that's Melissa Smith, she's now apparently hired a manager, and I gotta say, I love this answering machine message that was posted on Radar Online. For me, an instant classic. Charles, would you roll that? You've reached the voicemail of Melissa Smith. I think I'm going to go home and listen to that again. Uh, you think that's it? Oh, no, as we love to say around here. But wait, there's more. Late today, we also learned that the first alleged mistress, mistress to come forward, you remember Michelle Bombshell McGee, well, she apparently plans to launch her own pay website, which will be filled with naughty, naked pictures of herself. Leslie Marshall, I think this is exactly what could push Sandra Bullock into finally filing to, for divorce much faster. I mean, how much more embarrassment can she take? Well, you'll have to call my publicist or my agent for the answer to that, AJ. No, I'm just joking. You know, when, when I was younger, when I was younger, we didn't date our friends' boyfriends or other girls' boyfriends. That was taboo. But why is it okay that we as women sleep with other women's husbands? These women are just as wrong. They shouldn't be getting 15 minutes, never mind 15 seconds of fame. Yes, this should push her into divorce. I'm wondering why she married the guy. And, you know, that fidelity, little part about fidelity when you get married, I guess he was, uh, you know, sleeping, you know, when they had that part of the vows. The bottom line here is, you know, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's yeah. a duck. This was a bad choice for her, obviously. I think the best choice is for her to get out. And I agree with Jim. He's the one that threw this marriage to the curb. Yeah, and it is so unfortunate because I think there was probably a piece of her that says, no, this is real and we're going to prove everybody wrong. But I want you to pay close attention now because there may just be a tiny piece, a little tiny piece of good news in all this for Jesse James. Because late today, alleged mistress number three. Are you following me? We've talked about one and two. And now this is number three. Her name is is Bridget Daguerre. She confirmed to Showbiz Tonight that she did, in fact, write a message on her blog that reads, Jesse and I were friends. He was never at my home. He never paid for my home. And he never gave me any money. And at no time was I his mistress. I've had a few offers for thousands of dollars to tell my story, but I have turned the money down. So she now joins mistress number four, who's also saying she won't go public. So if you're paying attention, the count now stands at two mistresses who are dishing, two who are standing down at this point. Jim is it possible to say, can we be so bold to say <laughs> and exclaim, things are looking up for Jesse James right about now? Uh, you know, no, not really. I mean, it's like a doctor saying the good news, we got the tumor, the bad news is you have leukemia. What's the difference? We know about this person. We know about all of these alleged mistresses. And, and as you reported, we may hear even more. Look what happened with the Tiger Woods case. There was another after another after another, and they kept getting more exposure. Yeah. And now you talk about a woman having a manager. I, I don't see any good news in this. She probably has a whole team lined up by now. Well, another outrageous possibility came up. 